After the show, come find me over on the Twitch. I'm still not 100% sure of my schedule yet, but I'm going to be streaming once or twice a week. Stop by twitch.tv slash Friday Night Arcade and say hello sometime. And if you think live streaming is dumb, well, that's fine too. You can just ignore this, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. And now here's the TV game adaption everyone was clamoring for. MASH! That's Mobile Army Surgical Hospital for the Uninitiated. I'm guessing if you're watching videos about the Atari computer system, then you're probably familiar with the television show MASH. But here's the Cliff Notes version for any youngsters that may be watching. The show ran from 1972 to 1983 with over 250 episodes and is considered one of the all-time classic television programs. It follows the exploits of the 4077th MASH unit stationed in South Korea during the Korean War. The show featured an ensemble cast and often towed the line between comedy and drama with some degree of social commentary sprinkled in since the Vietnam War was actually taking place while the show was airing, at least for a few of the early seasons. And by now you're probably thinking, well, that all sounds fascinating, but how the heck did that translate into a video game? Much less a video game on the very limited Atari 2600 system. We're going to dig into this game, which surprisingly features several game modes, including a surgery mode? <laughs> Alright, so MASH on the Atari 2600. Well, here it is. This was developed by Doug Neubauer and released by 20th Century Fox. If that name sounds familiar, that's because Neubauer also worked on Star Raiders, Solaris, and, uh, Atari 2600 Alien. At a glance, MASH on the Atari looks an awful lot like Chopper Command, which came out a year earlier. You've got that distant sunset peeking over the mountains in the distance, choppers flying around, even the little tanks at the bottom of the screen with the animated wheels kind of look like the trucks from Chopper Command. But it's a bit different than that. Okay, so here's how this works. The manual notes that you're playing as Hawkeye from the show, and in the first mode, you're flying a medical chopper around picking up wounded soldiers from the battlefield and returning them to the medical tents for surgery. You just use the joystick to fly around. The button doesn't really have a purpose in this game other than acting as a start button after you've used the game select switch to select the game mode. You have to fly around avoiding trees, a North Korean tank firing at you from the ground, and also another medical chopper flying around. So technically this game could be played with two players, with the second player being Major Burns, where you're competing against each other simultaneously. But even in single player mode, there's an AI controlled second chopper just flying around. I guess it's cool that there's some added incentive to try to compete against the other chopper to see who can rescue the most soldiers, but ultimately he just ends up getting in the way. Between him and the trees all over the screen, the hit detection on this is generously not in your favor, so you'll be crashing into trees and the other chopper quite a bit. Also, you can only carry up to five wounded soldiers at once. After you get to five, the look and sound of your helicopter's rotor blades will change and you won't be able to pick up more soldiers, so you have to go back to the tent. Best thing I can recommend here is try and fly into the trees while the other chopper is dropping off soldiers at his tent so you're not both flying around all of the trees at the same time. <laughs> if you get shot down, Klinger comes out in an ambulance and tows you away. After a total of 30 soldiers have been rescued on this screen, then you go to a bonus round. Surgery time, kiddos! In what I could only describe as the Atari version of Operation, you get to surgically remove bullets from wounded soldiers. Remove as many as you can while the timer rolls down for extra points. That's surprisingly blunt for a game made in 1983, and I'm sure parents were thrilled to see their kids removing bullets from wounded soldiers using a tuning fork. So the controls are pretty twitchy here, and you have to be very precise. If you mess up, the game appropriately taunts you. <laughs> You keep looping back around between this and the first stage until someone gets to 999 points, and then that player is considered the winner and the game ends. There's two player variants of this in each of the game's other modes where you can actually play with two players using two controllers. In the next game mode, you're helping Colonel Potter by catching all of his skydiving medics. Remember that plane that was just flying around in the first mode not doing anything? Well this time it's hucking medics out of the back without a parachute and it's up to you to catch them. You know, in your helicopter. I can't think of a more impractical way to carry out this operation, fellas. Great job, all around. Also, I don't really understand the physics of this. Aside from trying to catch a falling person in a moving helicopter, if these guys are falling straight to the ground, are these trees just randomly suspended in midair? You get more points for each medic rescued depending on how close to the ground you are, and once 40 men are rescued, you head back into the operating room for more bullet retrieval, looping around until one of you reaches 999 points and the game ends. The next available mode is Cease Fire Mode. This is the same rules as the first game where you're rescuing wounded soldiers from the battlefield, but 
This time the tank doesn't shoot at you and the choppers are smaller so the game is significantly easier. After that the final mode is just the Operation minigame by itself. If you want to practice that on your own you're free to do so. And, well, that's MASH on the Atari 2600. Is this game fun to play now, or should you go out of your way to pick this one up? Eh, probably not, unless you're just a really big fan of the show and want this around as a conversation piece. Certainly like a lot of Atari 2600 games, the artwork is actually quite fantastic, bright and colorful, so it might look cool up on your shelf, but this doesn't have the same pickup and replay value for me as, say, the actual chopper command that MASH loosely resembles. While it's cool to see a game that actually has more than one screen on the Atari, navigating around all of these opticals and the other helicopter is really just not fun, especially with the herky-jerky hit detection. But what do I know? What did you think of this one? Did you play MASH on the Atari 2600 back in its day, or what are some of your other favorite TV and movie adaptions for the system that you might have had? If you want more Atari 2600, I've got a whole playlist with several Atari episodes that you might like as well. As always, thank you for watching. Please don't text and drive, and I'll see you next time on Friday Night Arcade.